Oh, well, moving on, we'll take a look at this new development on the social democratic front. The major, uh, the social democratic front, SDF party, met last uh, Saturday, October 28, 2023, for an elective general assembly. The major outcomes of this will bring together uh, the delegates of these one-time main opposition party to the ruling CPDM, uh, CPDM Cameroon's People's Democratic Movement Party is the voting of Joshua Osi as the new chairman of the SDF party. Now, before his election, Osi was the acting chairman after the passing to eternity of the pioneer of the party, Nijon Fru, um, the most animated debate amongst Amazonians is that before the demise of Nijon Fru, the Social Democratic Front Party, the SDF party, was no threat to the La Republic de Cameroon colonial government nor the ruling CPDM Cameroon's People's Democratic Party. And Joshua Osi was part of the field team as first vice president. The still to be answered question here is, would Osi bring back the fame of the Social Democratic Front Party at its creation in the early 90s, given he was part of the team when the party lost the people's trust. The Social Democratic Front, the SDF Party, now has a new national chairman replacing the pioneer national chairman, Nijan Frundi, who was buried months ago. Joshua Osi Nabangi, the new national chairman, of the SEF party was voted during the elective convention of the party on Saturday, October 28, 2023, in Yaoundé, the colonial capital of neighboring La Republic de Cameroon. Delegates of the SDF party formed the Electoral College. These delegates, more than 2,000 in number, came from subunits of the party from all over the Cameroons. Three candidates were aspiring for the top position of the Social Democratic Front Party, where three in number. These three were Joshua C, Zama Goden, and Shewa Gestel. The financial requirement was for aspirants of the top position of the SDF party to pay a caution of 7 million francs CFA non-refundable. After the votes were cast and counted, Joshua C had 985 votes, Chawa Jessil had 363 votes, and Zama Goden 217 votes, making OC the choice of the majority of the delegates. To Joshua OC, the Social Democratic Front Party is a serious party that needs serious leadership. In his words, he said, we need to build this new era. It is a very difficult task because transformation is extremely difficult and I am aware of it and we will build it together. Each member of the party will be called to contribute so that we succeed. Well, the, so uh, the Social Democratic Front Party was launched in 1990 with the late Ni John Frundi as the pioneer national chairman at creation, the people of the Federal Republic of Amazonia, Southern Cameroons identified themselves with this party. The people saw in the party an opportunity to speed up the liberation process of their motherland from the La Republic Colonial Administration. This dream of freedom through the SDF party as time went on became very unrealistic as the party's leadership started dining and whining at the same table with, with poor beer. This caused many Amazonians to withdraw their support for this SDF party and this is how the party started losing representation in the different houses of representatives in the Cameroons like the Colonial National Assembly, the Senate and Councils. Before last Saturday's election, bringing in Joshua C as national chairman of the Social Democratic Front Party, the people of Amazonia, Southern Cameroon, no longer identify themselves with the party. It is the reason the elective convention of a party born in Amazonia, Bamenda, was held in a foreign land and not in Amazonia. The new chairman of the SDF party, Joshua C, 
has the tax of making the party once again the People's Party, a tax he is fully aware of. But what are the entry cases to this SDF party? Now, let's join Gab Ellison as it takes us through the untold story of the creation of SDF party, which is also a betrayal of Southern Cameroon's quest for freedom. The untold story of the creation of SDF party, a bitch Southern Cameroon's quest for freedom. The creation of the SDF party in Southern Cameroons was supposed to be a beacon of hope for the people in their quest for freedom and autonomy. However, the untold story behind the formation of the party remains a betrayal of their aspirations. In 1982, President Ahijo resigned, paving the way for his legal successor, Bia, to assume power. This sudden transition raised eyebrows among observers as Ahijo was only 59 years old and not known to have any significant health issues. Upon closer inspection, it became evident that there was more to Ahijo's resignation than met the eye. Prior to this event, the people of Southern Cameroons had already felt betrayed by French Cameroons' encroachment on their autonomy. The transformation of the Federal Republic of the Cameroons into Ahijo's United Republic of Cameroons was a clear indication of their concerns. Sadly, the situation worsened under Beer's leadership as he changed the failed unitary state into a republic by renaming the two states with the names originally given to French Cameroon by France during their occupation. These actions were perceived as politically legitimate by Southern Cameroon elites like Fon Goji Dinga, Chief Ayamba and others. They saw Beer's moves as a case of recolonization and assimilation of the Southern Cameroons for the feeling, their desire for independence. Von Gorgi even interpreted Beer's actions as a succession of La Republic to Cameroon from the failed Union. In the midst of this struggle, there were discussions among the Southern Cameroon's elites about forming a political structure or party to help achieve their cause. This led to the conceptualization of the SDF party. However, the emergence of Frundi as the party's chairperson was both surprising and suspicious. Frundi, who had been a candidate of the ruling Cameroon People's Democratic Movement, RDPC, in a parliamentary election in 1988, seemed an unlikely champion for the autonomy of the Southern Cameroons. Some viewed his involvement in the SDF party as opportunistic and a thirst for power. After Frundi had not shown any inclination or interest in fighting for the autonomy of his people during his time in the RDPC. Furthermore, in 1985, the UNC party was renamed the CPDM under BS leadership. This was the same period when Frundi, the supposed leader of the SDF party in 1990, was still aligned with the ruling party. Southern Cameroon saw Frundi as an apologist, someone who had not stood up for their rights when he had the chance. The untold story of the creation of the SDF party reveals the betrayal of the Southern Cameroon's quest for freedom. While there were genuine concerns and efforts by Southern Cameroonian elites to address the recolonization and assimilation they faced, Frundi's involvement raises questions about the true intentions and objectives of the party. The Southern Cameroons deserved a leader who was dedicated to their cause and not someone who appeared to be swayed by political affiliations and personal ambitions. In conclusion, the formation of the SDF party was supposed to be a significant step towards the autonomy and freedom of the Southern Cameroons. However, the involvement of Frundi and his perceived betrayal of the people's aspirations raises doubts about the party's true mission. The untold story behind the SDF party's creation reflects a deep sense of disappointment and betrayal for the Southern Cameroons quest for freedom. Gab Ellison reporting from Dontet, ABC Amber News.